Okay, here's the basics on how to create a bind file for your Xbox controller or any other game controller in Star Trek Online. So here is a list of the basic key mappings. I'll provide them below in the details. So you'll be able to get basically set up. So you can also combo these together to provide functionality. So I've done this down here with both triggers. And this will toggle full impulse on and off in space and different bind file on the ground has got the run command in there so I can initiate a run. So when you're in Star Trek Online, you've got an entire row of boxes in your system tray with all of your powers in there and they're numbered corresponding going across the row. And what you've got to take into consideration that row numbers and box numbers are always decreased by one. So if something is in tray one, box one, it will be coded as tray zero, box zero. And you can put multiple activations on one button. So when you do that, you need to go in order of um, the tray and you want to put things in, in order you want them to activate. So to do that, you would put in, so for example here, this is to activate the whole of uh, tray one. And this would be the same as the Tray 7 Hilbert guide that people have got out there. Uh, I've chosen not to put in some commands that will interrupt your firing cycle. So here we're going to activate box 1, box 2, box 3, box 4, box 5, right the way up to box 9. And then we're going to come all the way back down. And as you can see, I've purposefully for this one just left off the final part just to show you how easy it is because it's just a simple copy and paste. And then we go to the end, just do a space, drop it in, and we just change that last box to a zero and then i will go down to a new line and i would then start a new command um so i wanted to another key to, to do something completely different it's just the format is the same so trade by x by tray sorry by execute is, is meant to read okay once you've done all that you then save the the file and the easiest way to do that i find is um, I find that in Star Trek Online, if you, if you save it as a text file and put the TXT extension, it doesn't read this properly. Um, so the easiest way to do that is save it as a text file. And then once you've got the text file in your Explorer, just rename it. Right, so uh, once you've gone through and created your bind file as such, so you can be as complicated as you want with as many different combinations as you like so as you can see I've got various buttons set up here to perform different functions across four separate trays um, so what we do is we save that so we're going to go to the save as and you can do this one of two ways you can either save it as a text document uh, if you're doing it for ground make sure you've got some distinction there so you can separate the two or you can just save it as in all files and just remove the .txt extension and make sure you save it into your live folder because that's where Star Trek is going to see it from. So, and I forgot I should be fine, so we just save that as it is. I don't want the text extension. It wants to, it wants to drop it on there, so yeah, just, just save it as a .txt and then once you've got the file, where are we? Uh, space 2020, it's just a simple case of just renaming, drop it to the other side. And then doing that just so. Right, so what I'll do is I'll quickly fire up Stow. Alright, here we are in Star Trek Online. So in the chat box here, we just type a simple command here. This is forward slash. I start with just BIN and automatically bring up the list and I want to choose load file. So once I've got a load file, click back into the box and just give it the name of the file. Don't need to bother with the TXT extension because we've already removed that. So OK, and there we go, that file is now loaded and now we can jump into the Jabori system and we'll see the file in action. So let me just turn on the camera so you can get the controller there.
So there you go, that's how you set up the Xbox controller in Star Trek Online. I'll drop you a link below to some software that you can use that will help you do this. Uh, I do find it can be a little bit of a learning curve trying to get it to actually work and then incorporate it into the game and, and configure, configure properly. But I'm sure if you persevere you'll be able to do it. Uh, Teacher Kirby's got a great video on that software and I'll drop a link to that as well in the description below. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.